U.S. President Joe Biden says the U.S. commitment to Israel is ironclad in the face of Iranian threats. The security assurance comes as the U.S. and allies fear Iran or its proxies could launch a significant attack within days. Tehran has vowed to retaliate for a suspected Israeli strike on the Iranian consulate in Syria at the start of April that killed seven members of its Revolutionary Guard. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei renewed the threat on Wednesday. Here's how President Biden responded. We also want to address the Iranian threat to launch a significant, they're threatening to launch a significant attack on Israel. As I told Prime Minister Netanyahu, our commitment to Israel's security against these threats from Iran and its proxies is ironclad. Let me say it again, ironclad. We're going to do all we can to protect Israel's security. Let's talk now to military analyst uh, Marina Moran from King's College. She joins us now from Munich. Greetings, Marina. Let's start with President Biden's statement. The way you see it, what does ironclad mean and what does it entail? Good day. Well, uh, what President Biden could mean is that the support for Israel will be then unconditional. And we have seen a lot of criticism coming from the U.S. side as far as the war against Hamas is being concerned. However, in this scenario, if Iran, specifically from its own territory, were to launch an attack against Israel proper, then the United States would stand behind Israel. And I do not exclude the possibility of deploying more aircraft carriers and U.S. strike groups um, to support Israel. I don't think that the U.S. would essentially send any of its troops um, to Israel in order to support Israel. But I think when it comes to military aid, um, the focus will be on Israel, sidelining thereby Taiwan and Ukraine. Mm. Iran's a supreme leader vowed to retaliate for the attack on the Damascus consulate. Is Iran likely to do so from Iranian soil or through the so-called axis of resistance? I think for Iran right now, and given Iran's past and how it responded to the assassination of Qasem Soleimani, I doubt that Iran at this stage is ready to launch an attack from its own territory on Israel. I think uh, strategically it would be unwise for Iran. However, given that Iran has received another big slap, they are not in a position not to respond, which puts Iran here in a very difficult spot. And therefore, I think that the next best option is to use the axis of resistance consisting of um, militias in Iraq, in Syria, of Houthis in Yemen and Hezbollah in southern Lebanon mm. in order to attack Israel and make it more difficult for Israel to conduct its war against Hamas. And Israel is already having difficulties because of international pressure to do so. So I think that um, the attack will be asymmetric. And another possibility is that it will not be an attack on Israel proper or not only. There might be attacks on Israeli embassies across the Middle East, as well as attacks um, in the cyber realm and psychological operations. That's a military analyst Marina Moran of King's College. As ever, many thanks, Marina. Fawaz Gerges is professor of international relations at the London School of Economics. Fawaz Gerges, I suppose Biden's statement is a good place to start. What's your assessment of what ironclad means and what does that entail? Well, he used the, the term ironclad twice. So the president's statement is really a message of deterrence to Iran. Uh, not just President Biden, but even the secretary of state. Uh, Blinken called the Israeli defense minister and reassured uh, the Israeli defense minister that the U.S. will stand with Israel. Um, also, the U.S. defense secretary, there is even Israel, we have a news now that Israeli leaders uh, have asked their American counterparts to make public statements in order to deter Iran from retaliating for the Israeli attack on the uh, Iranian consulate in Syria last week, which, as you said, killed seven senior uh, Iranian commanders. Uh, I, 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 my take on it is that Iran will retaliate. The question is not whether Iran will do so or not. The question is how, uh, when, 
and what targets that Iran uh, will attack in the next few hours or next few days. We'll get to that in just a moment. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu said today that Israel is preparing also for scenarios of challenges from other arenas, as he put it. What does he mean by that? Well, I mean, I think uh, what you have now is that you have the war in Gaza, but the war has expanded, contrary to what the American strategy, the American strategy from day one, from the 7th of October after Hamas attacked Israel, was that it does not really want the war to expand. It has expanded to Yemen. Mm. Uh, the Red um, in Iraq, uh, in Syria. Uh, so um, what, what you and I, we have not mentioned, uh, is that uh, by attacking uh, Iranian sovereignty, uh, the Iranian leadership, viewed Israel's attack on the Iranian consulate in Syria as an attack on Iranian sovereignty, a direct attack on Iran. Mm. It was really a provocation. Uh, it was designed to provoke Iran to retaliate. And now, if Iran does not really retaliate, it will stand humiliated and shown by Israel to be a paper tiger. So the question facing the Iranian leadership is how to retaliate without provoking all-out war with Israel and the United States because Iran does not really want a direct war either with Israel or with the United States. As a result of that provocation, as you put it, Iran's supreme leader has vowed to retaliate for the attack on the Damascus embassy. Is Iran likely to do so from Iranian soil or through the so-called axis of resistance? Well, this is really the big question. It's the $1 million question. Uh, my take is that reading uh, Iranian statements and listening to what Iranian leaders have said, they basically keep talking about the axis of resistance, Iran's regional local networks in Lebanon, in Yemen, in Iraq, and what have you. So this might imply that Iran could use its own networks of supporters to retaliate. But my take on it, based on what the Americans say is that Iran is preparing for a significant attack. That means Iran will directly attack Iran, Israel because the Iranian Supreme Leader twice said that, that Israel's attack on the Iranian council, uh, consulate was a direct attack on Iran itself. Mm. What translate, let's translate what the Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei says that since Israel attacked Iran's sovereignty, we have to retaliate directly from Iran. This is where the danger lies. Uh, and that what the Americans, you started asking me what the Americans have been trying to do. The Americans do not really want a regional war, all-out war. So right. what the Americans are trying to do is to try to deter the Iranians and prevent a significant attack by Iran on Israel. We're going to have to end it there. That's Middle East analyst Fawaz Jerjez. Many, many thanks to you, sir. Thank you.